I am at the Alhambra Vista on Plaza San Nicolas and it's one of the top spots in Granada for the evening vista. This is the second night that I've been here and the sun is not shining or we see hardly any of it. And when it does shine it doesn't light up the whole Alhambra like the classic postcard does. So when I'm trying to represent a postcard image you have got to be very lucky with the weather. And I'm going to tell you what I've seen about the Alhambra today. I went there this morning and it's the only place in the world where you just can't buy a ticket and walk in. It's got to be booked months in advance or if you're lucky you can do it the preceding evening online because this building is the most visited edifice visited in Spain and bear in mind that Spain has the third highest number of tourists visiting its superb attractions. Alhambra in Moorish Arabic refers to a red brick building with the semblance of a palace that's fortified and this is it. It's on the northeastern side of Granada and a famous postcard shot has it in February when the snow covers the full mountain range behind on an azure blue sky and you can see that there's some snow remaining on the higher peaks but for a panoramic of the Alhambra there's no snow behind it in April and the best views to eliminate the rooftops is from the tower of San Nicolas Church behind me where I was last night at this time and I'm here tonight for photographs when the Alhambra is floodlit, so the weather is immaterial. The postcard views come as the panoramic as I've just showed you, or its southern end, or its northern section. And just to show you the restriction I have in making a video, is that I'm not the only one here. Very, very popular place. And most people are using telephones for photography in this day and age. So there's no setting sun to give warmth to the stonework. And this is my second night. And last night it was, the sky was slightly clearer. Nonetheless, the photographs are worth having. Now, this is a UNESCO site, and that means they can limit the number of visitors per day to 8,000. And each person's got a ticket with a time of entry. And I don't know how long each person is allowed to stay. One thing that you have to get used to if you come from Britain, you have to show your passport along with your ticket to gain entry. And what does put me off, there's just too many people. And I'm wondering if it's best to come here in February when there might be fewer people. Alhambra, you can see the architect is more the architecture is Moorish and it's overlooking the city of Granada in Andalusia in southern Spain famed for its culture, its horses, its alcoholic beverage, its Seville oranges, flamenco dancing. It's a wonderful part of the world. Of course, the only trouble is when too many people think the same as us, we have to put, a, put up with lots and lots of people here. But overall, 
it's worth it. Tourism is a burgeoning industry. One in ten people in the world are working in an industry connected with tourists. That could be serving in the cafeteria around the corner, taxis, buses, people charging to you, visit the church tower. But nonetheless, I'm very pleased to be here and I hope this video encapsulates what La Ambra is tentatively all about and may you come to visit it.